Hi, I'm Mike Simonson. I'm the president of Altos Research. You know, at Altos, we track every home for sale in the country every week. We track all the pricing, all the supply and demand, all the changes in that data, and we make it available to you weeks before you can see it in the traditional channels. Today, I am going to show you a brand new data set in Altos, pending home sales. Here on the screen, I've got the Altos Advanced Analytics Data Visualization dashboard covering over 150 market stats for every zip code in the country. Advanced Analytics is part of our premium package for subscribers. The pending sales data is now available in Advanced Analytics for your account. So what is the pending sales data set? Well, if you know Altos, you know the Altos data, you know we track that active housing market, all the active inventory, all the ask prices, all the new listings, all the changes in the supply and the demand. And the pendings data is our new visibility in the houses that are going into contract now. How many are getting offers? What price points are home selling at? How long do they stay in contract? I love the pendings data because it, it's a measure of the active market before the sale closes. It may take 30 or 45 days before a sale closes, but we can see right now in the pendings which properties are selling, at what price points, how quickly. So let's look at why pendings data is so valuable. Pending sales data gives us the clearest signal for future home sales. With the pending sales data, you'll be able to spot trends in home sales weeks before the transaction closes. So for example, you'll now be able to track transaction volume and market growth. You'll see the current pace of home sales. You can track market reactions to mortgage rate moves immediately as it happens. You can see future sales prices and trends. Lots of insights like that. But what this really does is it gives your buyers and sellers an information advantage in this market. It gives them more confidence in you. So let's look at some examples. Let's talk about pricing. Let's say you're in Sarasota and you want to help a client in their luxury home to sell quickly. You're in the listing presentation. Now, I have an advanced analytics query open here for Sarasota. I'm looking at the top price segment in Sarasota for single family homes. The median prices declined over the last year, and it's about $1.6 million for the high end in Sarasota region now. But when I go to the pendings data and I add pending price, the median pending price, I can see that the price where people are buying is actually $200,000 less than the median price of all the homes in, in that price range in the market. So if I'm in a listing presentation, this allows my client to see exactly where the demand is, even at that high price point. So that helps your client make smarter decisions about how to price their home to sell. Let's look at another example. Let's say you want to look how fast the market is moving. So your buyer thinks that they have plenty of time to make an offer, but you know things are moving more quickly than they were. So now you have the data to back that up. So I'd use pendings data to show how fast the market is moving. Like here I'm comparing uh, the weekly new pendings in Dallas. So I've got the pending new count in Dallas. And I'm comparing this year, 2024, to last year, 2023. And suddenly I can see very clearly how many more sales are happening each week in Dallas than they were last year. And that helps a buyer understand that current dynamic that they might not be aware of. Let me do one more quick example. Uh, let's say you're at the broker level and you are doing some business planning for the coming year. You need to make decisions about marketing or recruiting. The market's been so volatile and you need to know what to expect in terms of transaction volume in the near future. So. We're looking at Austin, and if we look at the home sales, the total pendings, the total homes in the pending category, in Austin this year, we can see climbing for the spring. 
But if we add 2023 to the data, we can now see that 2024, we have not yet crossed last year's sales pace, and we've probably crested for the year. If we really want to add more historical context, we add 2022 to the data. And suddenly we can see how much further home sales need to climb in Austin and haven't fully recovered yet. So understanding the broader context, the historical context for transaction is really going to help you make better decisions in the business. So that's just a quick tour of the pendings data set and what you can do with it. If you're an Altos Premium subscriber, you already have access to advanced analytics. You can add pendings to your account now. You log in. There's an add pendings banner at the top of the page. You can click that and add pendings to get going. If you're an Altos Pro subscriber and you don't yet have advanced analytics, you can upgrade to advanced analytics. You just click on the analytics tab in your account, follow the upgrade steps, and then you too can get the, the pendings data to use with your clients right now. If you're not a client, what are you waiting for? Go to altosresearch.com and sign up for an account today so you can get the data too. Thanks everybody.